And this is the America that we live in. This is let you know that racism will never, when I tell you, never, ever go anywhere. We will always have problems. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. You wanted to be in the game, right? Now you're in the game. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. So this is what happened when you're a black man of color. You get gas at 430 in unknown areas like New Hampshire. You get a disorderly conduct. And this is what? Order to stay off property. No order, order to stay off property because they don't want you out here. They don't. And this is the America that we live in. This is let you know that racism will never, when I tell you, never, ever go anywhere. We will always have problems. I'm buying gas at 4 30 in the morning, not committing a crime, and I get the police called on me. Here's the deal you can't come back to the Alltown gas station or the property. 1516 Route 3A, okay? You can't come back to this property. If you come back to I'm never property, coming back. Perfect. You guys will never get another dollar out of me. Perfect. It would never work. So if, if you come back to this property, you could be arrested for criminal trespass, okay? There's your copy. You get your ID back. You're all yeah, I got my ID back. You have a wonderful day, sir. All right. Shout out to this uh, creator right here of this TikTok. Boy, I tell you guys, man, what would you guys do without this app, man? What would you guys do without this app? I mean, if TikTok wasn't around, would you still be able to be a camera culture type of person if Facebook was still available? Would Facebook be a viable uh, social media outlet for you guys? I, I don't know. I'm just curious. All right. But again, shout out to this uh, creator trucker right here. Um... Unfortunately, he got a, 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 a trespassing ticket. I don't know what's going on or what happened before you decided to start recording. Like, we, we're, we're waiting. We want to know what happened. I, I caught myself going into this creator's uh, uh, page or whatever to find that if he did a story time or something like that on actually what happened. But nothing. Nothing. So I had to dig deep into the comments. Now, we was not there. So we actually don't know what actually happened. But by piecing the comments together, it seems as though uh, the young driver came up to this particular pilot. Not sure where it was at. But uh, I guess he got fuel and then he went to park or overnight or whatever the case but uh, again like i said i'm just piecing all of the comments together so what was uh what was said in the comments was that this young man was asked to leave because there wasn't no overnight parking at this particular pilot now a lot of a lot of small pilots up in the up in the northeast they got they put time limits on us like we can't stay no more than uh two hours three hours four hours or whatever the case but we definitely can't do our 10 hour at those pilots because of reasons okay but but in any case in any case uh, a conversation ensued uh a back and forth uh commence uh he probably refused to leave because you know, he probably used the i'm out of hours trope and uh and pilot called the cops on him. The, the cops on him, right so there's another video there's another video right here you all set out i'm recording all right so what the deal is I'm going to trespass you from the property, okay? And I'm going to give you a warning for disorderly conduct today, all right? You start with a piece inside there, and there's a clerk for the Dunkin' Donuts that I come all the way up from the back room, okay, to talk to you. So, you said a clerk? Well, the, the manager over there at Dunkin' Donuts, wherever you want to call them. He came and talked to me? He did, the guy in the blue shirt. He never talked to me. He works for Dunkin' Donuts. Never talked to me at all. Okay, do you so want this... a warning for disorderly conduct? you want to go to court for it? 
I'll leave it up to you. A warning for this early conduct. Would you like conduct. a warning for this early conduct, or would you like to go to court for it? So those are my options. So what evidence did you review any surveillance? Listen to everything. What would you like? Give me a give me a, uh, give me a ticket for that. I want to go to court. Perfect. All right, sit tight. So this is America. A black man cannot buy gas at 4.30 in the morning. When you're colored, black, you gotta be careful of the places that you go to. Places like New Hampshire. I don't like your kind out here. Bro say he wants to go to court for disorderly conduct. And the, and the officer was just saying, like, yo, we're just going to give you a warning. This isn't like you getting a ticket for your truck, bro. You're not getting a ticket for your truck. Right? So why would you want a disorderly conduct ticket just to go to court? I don't get it. I don't understand that. I, Give me the warning. I'll take the warning. Give me the warning for disorderly conduct. And, of course, the trespassing is self-explanatory. Can't come back. Can't, uh, can't come back to this, uh, particular pilot. And if you do, you, you, you're going to jail. And we already know that this particular driver is, is not going to come back to this particular pi uh, pilot. But... To say that you want to go to court for disorderly conduct, and 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 the officer was like, "Yo, we're just gonna go ahead and give you a warning for disorderly conduct." There has to be some type of disorderly conduct because there was there was a back and forth. Why why make it more complicated than what it already is? Why make it more complicated than what it already is? I mean, for me. Hey, tell me to go, I'll get up, I'll go and, and leave. But again, like I said, shout out to this uh, uh, creator. You have to let us know that at 4 o'clock in the morning, there's always the race car. It has to be played in every scenario, okay? Now, I, just my opinion, I mean, a, 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 a private... A private property owner will don't want you there. You have to leave. You have to leave. You can't use your entitlement as a truck driver to be like, oh, okay, well, I'm a truck driver and, and I must stay here. I must get my fuel here. I must do this because I'm a truck driver. But no, you can't use that if, if a private property entity tells you to leave or they don't want to service you then whatever the case leave May maybe you're right maybe maybe the race card was played i don't know i don't know right i don't know but in any case like i said before by piecing everything everything together in the in the comment session it seems as though that this driver uh, got his fuel, and I guess he was trying to stay uh, on the property until his time was up, and got into a either a back and forth or a conversation with uh, with the management, and it didn't go well, and uh, management decided to call the cops, and now here's the cops is telling you 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 gotta go. Here's, the, here's a trespassing ticket, and we just going to give you a warning for disorderly conduct, but we're not sure if the driver probably talked him out of the, the disorderly conduct ticket to go to court. I mean, why? 
tape. Just, just tape the ticket. Just tape the ticket and don't come back. Drivers, let's get the conversation started, man. Has has something like this happened to you? I'm sure it happens to the best of us. It happened to me. Uh, I, I was asked to leave a property because we're not allowed to overnight. And, of course, I didn't use my trucker entitlement to to stay. I, I just up and left. I just used my PC to go somewhere else, I guess. But did this happen to you, and what was the outcome of, of that situation? Let us know in the comments below. Big G's got it locked, boy. Want you to love me all night, yeah, take me down. Want you to make me real wet, yeah, swim around. Want you to take it like a G, and I'm